Hello, I'm Dr. Ken Landau. Let's talk about treating toenail fungus infection. Do we have any medicines? Well, one that's highly advertised is known as Keridin. Keridin was approved by the FDA in July of 2014 as first in its class because it contained an active ingredient known as boron, and boron can inactivate an enzyme necessary for fungal growth. Well, did you realize if you use this medicine, you have to use it every single day for 48 weeks? And as a matter of fact, your toenail can't be too severely infected. Only about half of the nail can be involved. Otherwise, the medicine doesn't work. And as a matter of fact, if you're an ideal candidate for the drug and you use it every day for a year, did you realize that the cure rate, the cure rate is only about 6.5%. It can go as high as 9%. In other words, 90% of the people who use the medicine every day for a year are not going to be cured. That means somewhere between 11 and 16 people have to be treated in order to get one person cured and the likelihood of the fungus recurring after the cure is high. Well, it's sold in little teeny weeny bottles. Less than a teaspoon of the medicine costs anywhere between $530 and $590. They say they sell it in a bigger bottle. They, they actually do. They sell it two teaspoons. And two teaspoons of the medicine cost anywhere between $1,300, $1,300, $1,300. Or if you go over to Walgreens, pay cash, it's almost $1,500. Well, let's see how much you would actually need, because it's going to be more than one bottle. So each bottle of the standard size contains 80 drops. Let's say you have both large toenails involved. Well, that means you're going to need two drops per nail per day, or four drops total a day. And if you use it for 48 weeks, that's 336 days, that means you're going to use about 1,300 drops of the medicine, or 17 bottles. And 17 bottles at $530 to $590 per bottle, that means you're going to invest over $9,000. And if all of the nails on one foot are involved, you're going to need six drops a day, and six drops a day for the 336 days. That's going to average a little more than 2,000 drops, or 25 bottles. And 25 bottles at $530, well, that's going to cost about $13,000. And they advertise to stop the toe tucking, but they use the term wrong. Actually, toe tucking is a surgical procedure. A surgical procedure used for shortening of the toe. And the American Orthopedic Foot and Ankle Society says, hey, don't do that. Well, we know that ads cost a lot of money, and they advertise the medicine a lot, and we know that this is big business. So the chemical company that manufactures the drug is known as Anacor Pharmaceuticals. And they joined into a marketing agreement with Sandoz, a division of Novartis, a gigantic corporation, you can go out and buy some stock if you want in the Anacor Corporation. It originally sold at about $22, going up to about $156. We know the current price, after all the controversy about some of these drugs, only about $100. We know that they suggest that over a period of time when they ramp up sales, they're going to have about $400 million in sales every single year for this drug. That's what they estimate. And if you look at the percentage of money that is going to be spent on the drug, that means of that $400 million, about $370 million is not going to be associated with cure. So the overwhelming majority of people who use the drug aren't going to be cured. And we also know that the Keratin Company, the Anacor Pharmaceuticals, they say, hey, we'll provide you with a card that will eliminate your copay. So we're just going to stick it to the insurance company. And as a matter of fact, we know that some of these antifungals, the topical medicines, have a profit margin of 90 or 95 percent. At least that's what they report. Are there any alternatives? Well, you could use Penlac. Penlac's been on the market for some time. It's about as effective as the Keridin. There are two studies that have been done. One study with the Penlac showed 5.5% of the people cured after a year. The other study showed about 8.5% of the people cured. Well, good news about the Penlac is even though it's a lousy drug, it's much cheaper. 
you can get a bottle of the medicine that contains half again as much as the keratin, and the generic only costs you somewhere around twenty or thirty dollars. An interesting study showed that Vicks Vapo Rub, yeah, Vicks Vapo Rub, if it's used for treating nail fungus, is quite effective. A study done in the Journal of the American Board of Family Medicine in January of 2011 by doctors at the United States Air Force, they treated a small number of people and their cure rate was 28%, three or four times as great as with the keratin. And if you go over to the grocery store, the pharmacy, you can buy a bottle of Vicks VapoRub for $8. Or if you want the generic, go over to the Walmart. Only costs you a dollar and a quarter. Or you could get an alternative, a pill. Easy to take pill. You could get the generic version of Lamisil, the generic version known as Terbenafin, costs $4 a month. You have to take it for three months. That means not $9,000, not $13,000. Your total cost out of pocket, $12. And the cure rate with uh, Lamisil or the Terbenafin, well, if you use it for three months, somewhere around 60 to 70 percent. And some people say, well, we could use it for six months. Not recommended, but you could. And the cure rate might be as high as 90 percent. So the bottom line here, we're talking about big business. We know that they're estimating sales of around $400 million for a drug that does not cure you after a year's worth of use in either 90 or 95 percent of the time. So keratin, a drug with a generic name known as Tavaboral, and I think what we can say is Tavaboral is a terrible product. I'm Dr. Ken Landau. Thanks for watching. Thank you.